G'day mates, it's been uh, quite a while since my last video. I've been traveling to Dubai and Australia to visit my brothers. Um, and yeah, Dubai was crazy. I had to stop drinking beer after about two days because the beer is so expensive. It was, yeah, uh, like 500 Rand for a beer. Oh no, 250 Rand for a beer. So it was too expensive, but I did have one good Italian draft beer. Um, I forget the name, but it was good. But then I went straight on to Australia, and Australia is really like a craft beer hub. I was in Brisbane, and it was crazy the number of craft beers in the in the bottle store. Um, I think there were some interesting things. Some things I found interesting was they've invented some new styles of beer that are not like official beer judging competitive guideline beers. So one interesting one was the XPA. So XPA is a pale ale with a little bit extra bitterness. So I think like by BJCP, a pale ale is supposed to be, uh, I think around 30 to 40 IBUs, um, and, then a, and then an IPA is 40 to 60, somewhere around there. So XPA, I think what they're doing in Australia is a pale ale is now like low, low bitterness, like kind of hoppy beers so like up to like 20 25 they call that a pale ale now they've invented this thing called an xpa or extra pale ale which is like a little bit more hoppiness like what an actual pale ale is like and then they yeah they market that as xpa for people who don't like it too bitter so that was pretty interesting and the other thing that was interesting was like 60 percent of the beer shelves are hazy hazy ipas um like crazy amount of hazy ipas and then the other funny thing is that some of the beers are called New England IPAs and some are called Hazies. And they seem to think it's a different beer. Like I went to a bottle store and I said, yeah, I like New England IPAs. Like, oh, we've got one of those. But I was like, yeah, but these are all Hazy IPA is New England IPA. Um, but I guess they don't really know that. So slight difference between New England and, and Hazy IPA. I don't know. Maybe they've made something up. But all in all, the beer was pretty good. I must have tasted about 50 different uh, craft beers. And after all of that, I tasted a lot of um, 4X. And 4X is a 3.5, like standard. It's the lager kind of thing that's been in Australia forever. It's 3.5%. It's bitter as fuck. Super bitter. And I, I, never, I never actually remembered that. Like previously when I was there, I was like, it just seemed like a normal lager, but... It was properly bitter. It was nice. Um, maybe too bitter for a lager. And then there was the Victoria Bitter, the VB, which is a classic. And that was also decent and pretty bitter as well. But yeah, I tasted a ton of beers. Um, a lot of crap, similar to what we have here, like just bitter and alcohol. And not a lot inside a lot of these beers. Like let's say 80% were crap uh, to my palate. What was funny is at the end of all of this tasting... Um, the one I thought was like the most remarkable or most memorable was this one I've got here, which was the Green Beacon um, Pale Ale. It's called the Wayfarer Tropical Pale Ale. And this is actually what my brother was drinking just week to week. He gets a, a couple of these, a four pack of these. And um, I guess they cost about uh, $7 or $6 each. So a little expensive, like 60, 70 bucks for a can. Um, but after tasting all of these beers, this kind of was the one that stood out to me as being the most interesting. Uh, similar to, I guess, what you'd expect of like a Jack Black Cape Pale Ale, but a lot more of these kind of tropical fruit flavors versus the grassy kind of um, flavors that Jack Black Pale Ale has. And we went to the brewery, and the brewery was awesome. But yeah, there were six hazies on tap, six hazy pale ales. So I'm absolutely over hazy pale ale but hazy pale ale the problem with hazy pale ale is it's it's like for me it seems like it's almost someone trying to make a spirit cooler like a bacardi breezer out of a beer like you could take a beer take all the bitterness out put in a few shots of vodka and you've got a hazy pale ale so i mean i'm not the biggest fan i like i like beers which are crisp i like the bitterness to reflect the um alcohol and yeah, and I like crisp and I like uh, refreshing beers. And hazies are just not refreshing for me. But anyway, that's, uh, that's my trip round down under. We're going to taste this beer now. 
see if it's still as good after traveling back in the airplane. Oh, beautiful Wayfair at Tropical Pale Ale, 4.9%. And I mean, you can see it's hazy as well, right? Super hazy. Like everything in Australia is hazy now. Well, let's have a taste. And then let's see if we can get a guest taster in here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Would you like to taste, Mrs. Lundy? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think of that. Does everyone know what I've been up to this afternoon? Oh, yes. Yolandi was playing in a concert. Classical. Classical concert mm. playing classical music with her maestro. Mm. That's lovely. That's mm. lovely. Mm. It's got a really it's fruity, pineapple It's but not overpowering. Not yeah. like a sickly Mango-y. sweet fruitiness. It's a, mm. the, just the right balance. Nice little bit of bitterness. Mm. Mm. Oh, I need another sip. Mm. If she needs another sip, you know it's the winner. All right, mate. Try some shrimps on the barbie. Say bye, Elani. Bye. <laughs>